The next element that we are discussing is calcium. It is absorbed or required in the form of calcium ion. So we can write as absorbed as calcium ions. It is required in meristematic tissue and differentiated, uh, differentiating cells rather. So required in meristematic cells and differentiating cells. The cells which are dividing those cells that is in meristematic region and the cells after division when they are becoming specialized or getting matured that is the time also calcium plays a very very important role. Functions the functions which are performed by calcium, the first and the most important is it is required for cell wall formation. So required for cell wall formation. And when we say cell wall formation, where exactly in the cell wall? In the middle lamella. So in cell wall, the region where calcium is essential is middle lamella. And middle lamella is made up of calcium pectate. So this middle lamella has calcium pectate. So when we write the function, we just say it helps in cell wall formation. But in cell wall formation or in the cell wall, Calcium pectate forms the middle lamella. The next important function of calcium, it maintains membrane, that is cell membrane permeability. Cell membrane permeability. Calcium ions also act as activators. So as activators of certain enzymes like phospholipase, ATPase and amylase. These are certain enzymes where calcium ions act as activators. So they help in activation of enzymes, they maintain the permeability of the cells and they are also required for cell wall formation. One more function, they are essential for formation or during formation of mitotic spindles. So required during mitotic spindle fiber formation. If calcium is less or deficient, then the symptoms which we are going to see, that is the deficiency symptoms, would include, first, cell division would get affected. If middle lamella is not formed, if we are able to recall how this plant cell undergoes cytokinesis, what happens is in the plant cell, these two nuclei which are formed after that, a cell plate is formed in the middle and then this cell plate secretes middle lamella and then this middle lamella grows on both the sides and each cell will deposit their cell wall in the middle. If calcium is deficient or less, then middle lamella will not be formed. And if middle lamella is not formed, the cell division is affected. So cell division will remain incomplete. Will remain incomplete. And incomplete means 
nuclear division will take place but cytokinesis will not take place so cytokinesis will not take place will not take place nuclear division is complete but no cytoplasmic division and if nuclear division takes place without cytokinesis then the cells will become multinuclear. If we remove this cell plate from here, because of nuclear division, there are already two nuclei formed. And if this continues, it would result in formation of multinucleate cells. So absence of cell division will result in formation of multinucleate cells and this is happening because calcium pectate is not there due to deficiency of calcium. The next important role which is performed by calcium is chlorosis and necrosis of the leaf tips. Chlorosis and necrosis of leaf tip. Now when chlorosis takes place that means pigment chlorophyll is less and it will become yellowish. Necrosis would lead to death of the tissue and due to permanent wilting these tips they become withered or bent. So it the disease is known as withering W I T H E R I N G withering of leaf tips. The leaf tips undergo permanent wilting, and because of which they become bent or hook like. And this is predominantly seen in plants which have leafy part edible. That is, in lettuce kind of plant, if the leaf tip becomes bent or wilted, then the economic value of that crop or that plant gets affected. One more important uh, for, uh, deficiency symptoms due to uh, deficiency or absence of calcium. Because it is required in all meristematic and differentiating cells, it would affect the cell growth is less that means the plant would show little stunted growth or growth will be less one more function which we can write here is calcium helps in maintaining stem apical meristem so apical meristem requires calcium and meristem as we have written it is required in meristematic cells especially in the apical meristem where there is continuous division taking place but we also know that this apical meristem is also required for elongation of the plant so in absence of calcium even the height of the plant would get affected and that can be the stunted growth or the cell growth here we can write it as 6. The height of plant will be lower or less. And this can also be written as stunted growth. Stunted growth. So calcium plays a very important role in cell division by middle lamella formation. And if cell wall is not properly formed due to absence of calcium pectate then the division will get affected and obviously the growth of the plant is dependent on cell division so if no cell division or improper cell division growth of the cell will get affected that would result into plant showing stunted growth plus nuclear division is taking place without any problem but not followed by cytoplasmic division so that would result into formation of multinuclear cells also. So calcium, these are the main functions and these are the deficiency symptoms. The next element is magnesium.
magnesium is absorbed as divalent magnesium ions as magnesium ions and it is required at the place where chlorophyll is to be synthesized so it is required for chlorophyll synthesis so let us talk about the functions the role which magnesium ions they play the first is magnesium is required in the structure of chlorophyll molecule so magnesium is a part of the porphyrin ring porphyrin ring of chlorophyll molecule chlorophyll molecule has a head which is also known as porphyrin ring and there is a phytol side chain so the center part of this porphyrin ring is made up of magnesium ion and that is why we say wherever chlorophyll is synthesized these magnesium ions are very very essential magnesium ions also act as activators for various enzymes for enzymes which are required for respiratory processes for respiration and photosynthesis so there are many enzymes which help in these two processes and for those enzymes magnesium ion act as activators so those enzymes are carboxylase phosphorylase and many more so all those enzymes or rather most of the enzymes which are required in respiratory processes and photosynthesis those enzymes have magnesium ion as their activators the next important function which is performed by these magnesium ions is for assembly of ribosomes so magnesium ions are required for ribosomal assembly during protein synthesis the smaller subunit and larger subunits of our uh, ribosomes they must assemble and then only the mrna is going to bind and protein synthesis is going to take place but for that assembly magnesium ion concentration is very very essential so unless and until this takes place protein would not synthesize or uh, would not be synthesized so this would reflect in the deficiency symptoms so one is for chlorophyll formation that is chlorophyll molecule formation for various enzymes uh, as activator and they are also very very essential for uh, ribosomal assembly in absence or deficiency of magnesium the symptoms are going to be first as it is essential for chlorophyll formation chlorophyll synthesis would get affected and if there is no chlorophyll it would result into yellowing of leaves and the leaves which would get yellow first are going to be the older leaves it starts with the margin part and then the entire leaf would get yellow and then fall so it also would affect premature leaf fall so first chlorophyll production decreases because magnesium is the core element which is in the porphyrin ring so if no chlorophyll the leaves will start turning yellow older leaves would turn yellow first from margin that means from the outer side towards the inner side and when the leaves turn yellow they are going to fall so there would be premature leaf fall another uh, thing would be as we said that magnesium is required for 
activation of enzymes of respiration and photosynthesis. So, respiratory process would get processes would be lower and rate of photosynthesis will also decrease. One more symptom, deficiency symptom which would be seen is going to be associated with this ribosomal assembly. If ribosomes do not assemble, protein synthesis would also be lower. Protein synthesis will also be low. And as we are talking of yellowing, we know what term we give for this yellowing. So this is also known as chlorosis. And as the cells are dying, the chlorosis and necrosis of the leaves. So we can call it yellowing of leaves, but if we have to write a technical term, we would call chlorosis, which is for loss of chlorophyll pigment. And in chlorosis, the leaves turn yellow because the pigment is getting lost. And necrosis of leaves would also take place. One more deficiency symptom which has been reported is when magnesium deficiency takes place, then a purple colored pigment that is anthocyanin, its production increases. So synthesis or production of anthocyanin increases in deficiency of magnesium ion concentration. So most important role which magnesium plays, all three are important. First is in chlorophyll for uh, molecule formation, activation of main process controlling enzymes and protein synthesis. And these are the deficiency symptoms of magnesium.